Do you know your life number and its meaning? More than just the sum of all parts. Our life numbers describe our character, our goals, but also what we can expect from life. They result from the numbers of our birthday, so they are individual and unique for every person who was born on that day. Even if you don't really want to believe in the power of number mysticism and the truth of numerology, calculating your personal life number is fun to do. It's quick, uncomplicated, and who knows? Maybe you'll discover aspects of yourself that have always seemed inexplicable to you. What does each life number mean? Life number one, the strategic leaders. Anyone who can look back on one as their life number can be happy. This life is characterized by determination and straightforwardness. Personal ambition is the engine that drives these people. They are born leaders and decision makers. They have nothing against a pleasing audience and regular applause in the spotlight. On the contrary, they value feedback and the opinions of others. Life number two, the friendly peacemakers. They are the genuinely good people among us who would never push themselves to the fore or put their personal interests above the common good. They like to mediate where conflicts arise and, with their balancing nature, ensure that a climate of goodwill is quickly established. They use their secluded and quiet life to sharpen their intellect and analytical skills. Nothing escapes their notice, even if they would never interfere in other people's affairs without being asked. Life number three the colorful creatives. Behind this life number are the representatives of the fine arts, the poets and thinkers, the friends of all things beautiful, and those areas of life that are perhaps not important, but essential for the quality of our existence. These people enjoy life, are blessed with abundant charm, charisma, and a natural grace. Their cheerful disposition is almost infectious, which makes them real magnets for other contemporaries. A little discipline and order would do them good every now and then, but they always manage to keep their balls in the air. Life number four, the practical reasoners. They keep the world running by always being one step ahead tactically. Methodical thinking is in their blood, while chaos and turbulence have no place in their lives. They bring qualities such as perseverance, discipline, and punctuality to the table, but also expect this input from those around them. They can launch great professional careers, but they also manage their families so well that life together runs like clockwork. Prudence and method were definitely born with the number four. Life, number five, the versatile pioneers. Behind the life number five are the explorers, discoverers, and inventors of our time. They are the travelers that no one can stop or divert so quickly. Without them, mankind would be a few discoveries poorer, and blank spots on the maps would still be the rule rather than the rare exception. These people are bursting with new ideas and never stay in one place for long or with just one project at the start. They love love, sensuality, and good food, are gifted with languages and spontaneity is their middle name. However, they sometimes lack structure and tend to lose track of things. Life number six. The Caring Ones Fate has a lot of work in store for those who were allowed to choose life number six from all nine possibilities. These people symbolize love in our world. They dedicate themselves to the care and well-being of others. They have been blessed with above-average empathy and understanding. They urgently need the latter in particular, as not all of their fellow human beings always appreciate their efforts. They are full of kindness and hardly ever hold grudges against their contemporaries. They dedicate themselves to social professions, voluntary work, and are often to be found in parts of the world that the rest of the world seems to have forgotten. Life number seven, the seekers of truth and knowledge. People with the life number seven are on a lifelong quest. They are interested in many different disciplines, these include religion and science, as well as the esoteric and the supernatural. They like to spend their lives alone. It is also difficult to get in touch with them, as their alert minds are constantly on the move and never retreat into rest mode. They enrich our world as philosophers, inventors, or great scholars. There is no aspect of this life that is not of interest to them. Life number eight, the born managers. 
The financial world and the global economy can be happy about these people. Politics and science also benefit from people who have been given the life number eight. Their strategic thinking and analytical skills are hard to beat. They also have a natural authority and a good feeling for their fellow human beings. However, they find it difficult to express their feelings. They are pragmatists through and through, which sometimes causes them difficulties in their private lives. Life number nine, the generous philanthropists. They are the philanthropists among us. They put their goods and skills at the service of the community and have one main aim, to do good. Their sense of creativity and openness to new ideas ensure that they will not run out of good ideas anytime soon. They shape their lives passionately and without compromise. They are excellent partners and family people, but can also display quite solitary traits. All good things come in nines. The world of numerology is also a vast land, not to say infinite. Anyone who wants to study it in depth will soon discover that there are many different theories and other ways of calculating life numbers. You may even discover so-called master numbers such as 11 or 22, which at first glance sound better than they actually are. As with the typical characteristics of the zodiac signs that dominated celestial events at the time of our birth, there is no single valid and irrefutable truth in the case of life numbers either. Every person has many more talents and inclinations than can be expressed in a mere numerical construct. We are unique, and not just a random number in a cosmic lottery. However, we have all hit the jackpot and are able to enjoy life in this world anew every day. If you enjoyed today's podcast, please give us a thumbs up. To make sure you don't miss any new posts, subscribe to our Spiritual World channel and activate the little bell. It costs you nothing, and we would really appreciate it. Thank you very much, and see you soon.